Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2023. Today we will discuss about question number 31 to 35 related to this statistics here. Myself Dr. Harish Gar, you can simply follow my YouTube channel for the various videos and you can scan and join my WhatsApp group for the various discussion and the shortcut to it. What we have discussed so far, we have a playlist of the GATE statistics where we have described 11 to 30 questions in the complete with the help of the shortcut tricks. Also, we have the complete GATE 2022 statistics question in the number wise, as well as we can see the GATE 2018 CSR examination all about this statistics solution. So let's start with this paper. So make sure you have to read the statement very carefully. Two defective bulbs are present in the P set of the five bulbs. To remove the two defective bulbs, the bulbs are chosen one by one. What is the meaning of this one by one? The whole question is based on this. This means this is called as without replacement. So remember, whenever there is a question of the without replacement, you always apply this shortcut to it. What is that? Two defective bulbs. So there are the five bulbs. Out of that, two are my defective. So how many are non-defective? So you can write like this way. There are the three non-defective. Two bulbs are to remove these two defective balls, the balls are chosen. How many balls they are can chosen? Let X denotes the minimum number of the balls that need to be tested for the two defective balls. X is equal to three. That means you need to choose three bulbs from this five. Out of these three, your target is to find the two defective bulb. And out of these three, it means one is my non-defective. Now, once you can draw this diagram, then your answer will be right in a very simple manner. You can write this value 2C2 multiply 3C1, 3C1 divided by 5C3. So that's the right answer of this. Now you can see 1 multiply 3 divided by it's a 10. So right answer is 0 0.3 is the correct answer. So that is a very simple you have to read this statement since this is a question related to the without replacement and you must remember that what is that this is called as hyper geometric distribution so if you find the more pro questions related to this shortcut tricks you can see my lecture of hy uh, hyper geometric distribution in my playlist probability and studies so you can see within the, within the 10 or 15 seconds, you can solve this question if you remember this trick. Look at this next question. First of all, I will give you a very simple tip that is a useful for the CSR, UGC, IIT jam, NBHM, any R there. Whenever there is a question related to the probability and whenever there is a question related to the scale like of this, you always find this is always former chi-square provided whatever the thing you have written you convert into the normal distribution that's all fine now what is given to you xi will follows mean 4 and variance 9 this is given to you then what is that this is nothing but my what is given to you that's a mean that's a sample mean so what is the distribution of the y and it follows the normal distribution with the mean mu variance is sigma square by n so what is the mean is mean is my 4 sigma is my variance that's a 9 over 3 so y and my normal distribution 4 and 9 by 3 now your target is to convert into the scale so how you can convert you can see y n minus 4 divided by 3 by root n fine so this follows normal distribution 0 comma 1 so what is the meaning of that the scale of this will follow chi square with one degree of freedom now you can think about it can i write this value here i can change this number in terms of here so what i can do is i can y n minus 4 i can multiply and divide it by 3 and by root whole square so fine there is no problem so this is my chi square so this is my chi square of 1 so what is the right answer of this now you need to find the expected value what is the expected value of of this so what is the expected value of this is 9 by n square is outside expected value of the chi square 1 what is the expected value of the mean of the chi square 
mean of the chi square is and degree of freedom here degree of freedom is one so this is one now finally you can take the limit as n approaches infinity this will goes to the zero so that's a very simple uh, remark for you remember whenever x follows the chi square distribution one so what is the meaning of that the mean of this x is my n if i call this is my n then the variance of this is my 2 so that's a very simple approach you can solve this in a very simple manner because it's a square convert into the chi square distribution so this value is my chi square distribution fine because of this so this is my chi square rest is my here now you can because 9 by n square is a constant it can be taken out okay look at this another one okay it's a standard brownian motion so remember what is the shortcut tips for you if i write as a wi is my standard then it means it has a mean zero variance i fine what is the covariance of wi and wj it is nothing but minimum of i comma g fine now you can see this is a square but it's a conditional probability fine so what i can do if i found the expected value of this fine and the variance of this so can you find the expected value of the x square so that's very simple you can apply the variance formula this plus expected value of y by x of square fine this is the way you can find now look at the shortcut tricks for you so what is that how you can find the expected value of the y x is equal to x so we all know this is the mean of the y plus correlation coefficient standard deviation of the y standard deviation of the x x minus mu of x and what is the variance of y condition x here this is nothing but 1 minus of here fine now look and see what is the y is w4 so what is the mu of y if my y is w4 fine and x is my w2 so what is the mu4 you can see it's a zero what is the sigma y sigma y is w4 so what is the w4 is so it's a standard deviation so it's a root of 4 that's my 2 fine similarly what is the mu of x is a zero sigma of x is my root 2 fine now you need to find rho that is nothing but my covariance of w2 w4 divided by root of variance w2 variance w4 so what is that it's a minimum of ij it's a 2 what is the variance of this is a i that's a 2 and 4 it's a 8 root so that is 1 by 2 fine so this correlation coefficient is my 1 by 2 now you can substitute here what is the firstly i can see here this is 1 minus 1 by uh, it's a 1 by root 2 so it's a 1 by 2 what is the sigma square it's a 4 so th this is my 2 what is that this is 0 this is my 1 by root 2 sigma y over sigma 2 it's a, again root 2 x what is that x is x is 2 minus 0 so the answer is 2 so i can therefore what is the expected value of y square condition x so we can start from the variance plus expected value of this scale so what is the right answer 4 plus 2 6 is my right answer of this problem it's a very simple always remember my shortcut tricks which i given to you here related to the standard brownian motion wi w4 apply this conditional probability and you can get here one more tips if somebody asks you find the variance of w4 scale fine so there are the two ways first way is you can write the in terms of the variance you can write this as here w4 whole scale so what is that w4 variance is 4 plus 0 is again 4 second is you can convert w4 into the chi square so what is that w4 minus 0 divided by root i is follows my chi square of 1 so you can see 
W4 and whole square. It follows my chi square. So I have to divide it by how I write this value. So I can return as W4 minus 0 over 2. So you can see it is 1 by 4 W4 square. So I need to find the expected value of this. It will be 4 times of this. So it will be again a 4 of this because the expected value of this is how I can write this is nothing but my 4 chi square of 1. So take the expected value on the both side. Expected value of this is my 1. So 1 into 4 is again 4. So that's depending on you whether you want to find the expected value of this. This is applicable only when you are only finding this. But here we need the expected value conditional. So that's why we can return in this way. Look at this next question. That is related to the Markov chain uh, that I already explained you in, in the uh, various PY questions also. What is the probability of A condition B? So that's the probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. So this is my B, this is my A. So probability of this here. So how I can write that? divided by probability of b fine so now i can rearrange this numerator because this is the intersection we all know probability of a intersection b is nothing but probability of b intersection a so i can return this number as x3 is equal to 2 x2 is equal to 1 x1 is equal to 1 same for below 1 so i can return as x1 is 1 x3 is equal to 2 now what is the right answer of this? You can go from, you can see from 1 to 1 and then 1 to 2. Fine. What is the uh, uh, time period is 1 to 2. That is a 1 time period. It is a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So probability is 1 by 2, 1 to 2, probability is 1 by 4. So this part is 1 over 8. For the denominator side, it is a 1 to 2, but the time period is two time periods so how you can find the two time period that's a very simple i can return as a first row first row is 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 4 and then second column second column is 1 by 4 1 by 3 1 by 2 that's answer now you can simplify it so it is 1 by 8 1 over 12 1 over 8 so what is that this is 12 is the lcm so you can see 1 by 3 so right answer is 3 over 8 is the right answer. You can write into that two decimal places, you will get as a right answer. Remember always because this is a time period 1, 2, 3. How many time period is 2? So that's why I have written here as a 2. And these are my states from the one state to the second, I can return as here. Look at the another one. So x size are given to be here, which is a which is a multivariate. Again, you can see as a scale. So I again, whenever there is a scare, you can convert into the chi-scale distribution. So the thing is, you have to firstly write here. But instead of the chi-scale, it is given as a normal distribution. So we can't use as a chi-scale, otherwise we will not get the right answer. That's very simple. I can simply take this quantity as a h. Fine. So this is my h. So find the mean of this h and variance of this h. So what is the mean? mean of the x1 is 0, x2 0, x3 0, it is a 0. How you find the variance of ax plus by? This is nothing but a square, variance of x, b square, variance of y plus 2ab, covariance of x comma y. The same for here. Now it's a 3 component. So variance of x1, sorry, variance of x1 plus 4 times variance of x2 because here a is minus 2 but b square is 4. 4 times variance of x3 plus 2ab. 2ab plus 2bc. 2bc and 2ca. 4 times covariance of x1, x3. So what is that? Variance of these are my variances. And the rest are covariance. So it's a 2, 4 times 5, 4 times 1. Minus covariance of x1, x2. It's a 2, 4 times 2, x1, x2, x3. This is my x2, x3. And 4 times x1, x3 is 1. 
सो वट इज दैट इज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी सिक्स माइनस एट माइनस एट प्लस फोर सो इट इज माई माइनस फोर माइनस ट्वेल्व सो इट इज माई फोर एट सो इट मीन्स एच विल फॉलोज द नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मीन जीरो वेरियंस फोर क्लियर नाउ यू नीड अ स्केयर आई कैन कन्वर्ट इन टू द जेड सो जेड इज एच माइनस जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय रूट फोर्टी सो दिस वैल्यू दिस वट इज दैट दिस इज माई प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एच स्केयर सो आई कैन रिटर्न दिस एच स्केयर एज आई कैन रिटर्न दिस सो इट मीन्स आई हैव डिवाइडेड बोथ साइड बाय फोर्टीन फाइन सो दिस नंबर इज माई जेड is less than equal to 1 by z square is less than equal to 1 by 4 now since we not given to you as the chi square value but we given as a z value so i can find this number as probability of half less than half fine now what you can do i can write here for you so that means your target is to find the probability of this so what is very simple you can see this is my zero this is my 0.5 this is my 0.5 you need to find this area but it is already given to you that this area is given to you as here this area is also given to you same so how you can find that 1 minus twice of area 1 because both are area same so 1 minus 2 times 0.3085 so what is that 7 6 1 minus of 6 so it's a 0383.0 so point point 3830 is the right answer of this problem now you can see it's a very simple always if if uh, if they are asking about the expected value instead of the finding the probability then you can use the chi square it it is quite easy look at that if if you want to find the chi square what will happen on this term that will be h by root 14 this is my chi square that means probability of chi square with degree of freedom 1 is less than 1 by 4 but since we don't know what is the value of the chi square in the standard table because it is already given as here but if somebody ask you find the pro, uh, expected value variance as in the previous question then we can simply see the chi square expected value is 1 variance of this chi square is my 2n and so on so that's depending on the question but in this case it is already given to you here is the right answer of this problem so i hope you can simply learn these tricks in an easy manner i will solve the next 35 to 40 question in the next lecture till then you can simply scan and join my whatsapp group you can share and like and comments on my videos best of luck students happy learning